All right, guys, welcome back to Turbo Time. Today, we're gonna to be comparing the cheapest manifold on the market to the CSF Super Manifold. I'm gonna show you guys the inside and the core of the cheap manifold, as well as the inside and the core of the CSF Manifold. I'm gonna put them side by side. We're gonna take measurements. We're gonna see what is the difference between the $1,000 manifold and a $5,000 manifold. All right, guys, we're gonna take our caliper and we're gonna measure the relative core size. So pretty much from the inside of the welds should be about the size of the core. So it says 98.88 millimeters. So that probably means it's a hundred millimeter core as we obviously can't uh, get all the way there. And over here on our CSF manifold, we're going to do the same and try to get to about all right. So I would say comparatively, that is Pretty close, 98.8. Now I want to try to get the height of the core. So let's again set up our caliper. The height of the core is going to be a little easier to measure. All right, it's saying 95, 95.4. Now, let's go measure our CSF. And all right, CSF looks like it might be a bit bigger. Let's get it evened out. 102.4. So height for the CSF is 102.4. All right, we're gonna start over here with our manifold. The weld quality on it looks good. It is made out of billet. Has the same design as the CSF where it has the uh, dual pass, one in, one out. I'm gonna put in a still picture of this with a flashlight. First, let's see if we can shine some light in there and get it to focus. So, looks like a bar and plate setup. And it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12 rows. So that's 12 rows. It does come preset for the fuel rail and port injection, which I will show you guys in a moment. And then we have here our CSF manifold, obviously also high quality welds. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the charge pipe so we can get a look at the inside. All right, so right away our notable differences with the CSF manifold is that it does have this plenum divider to divide airflow amongst the cylinders. I believe CSF is the only one that does that. Um, also a bar and plate setup. Let's see if we can get in there. They do appear to be tighter rows in the core. 
and we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it looks like it has one. Has like a half a row on the bottom and a half a row on the top. But if so in conclusion, are these two manifolds the, the same? Four, no. Other the CSF that, one appears to be 10 millimeters taller, has an extra row of plenum divider, and the fins seem to be grouped to tighter inside. than the cheap manifold. They also have a proprietary plenum splitter, which divides the airflow evenly among cylinders. Now, the real question is, how does that translate into real life intake air temperatures and heat soak? We're going to install the cheap manifold, we're going to test, and we're going to let you know. As always, if this content helps you, if you like it, share, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.